Hello, and welcome back to Intuitive to Intuitive Empress YouTube channel. I am Intuitive Empress, and I'm coming to you with love messages for my Scorpio babies. It's messages for my Scorpio babies, and we are going to get some messages for you. You are my best friend. Stop looking so hot in the pictures you post. This is not the way I wanted things to end. I wish we could go back in time. No place like home. Someone feels at home with you. Peace, love, and joy. I want to look in your eyes and get lost in your soul. <laughs> Warning, don't dismiss the red flags. That card has been coming up a lot in these readings. Because I think a lot of people in this season are coming back. I don't know if it's because of COVID being over and more people are out. After being locked in the house for so long. I'll never be able to explain how much I love you. I crave you. The touch of your hand, the look of your eye in your eyes. I need you. All right, let's see what other messages. These are the messages that kind of flew out while I was still shuffling for you. Trust. It is trust. It is safe to trust in this situation. Okay. All right. So let me just start reading the energy that I'm picking up here. There's somebody you ended a relationship with or they ended the relationship with you. The relationship just ended. Like I said, I don't know because recently everything just started opening up in the last month or so where I am because of COVID and completely opening up. And it's the summer months and people are out more now. You had some people who actually got trapped with other people because of who they was with, whether it was creeping or whatever, when COVID hit and everything shut down. And now people are out. Out and about. And when I say stuck, some people went out of town because the thing shut down so fast, people went out of town and they had to stay where they were being shut in place. So some of your people could have been out of town, maybe lived out of town, went to visit somebody out of town, and everything shut down and they couldn't move from where they were. And or they just left you for somebody else. And now after going through what they went through, whoever and whatever relationship, now they're saying that they want to be with you. You're their best friend. It's two different messages here that says don't ignore the red flags and it's trust. It's safe to trust God in this situation. This person is saying they didn't want things to end the way they ended with you. And they wish they could turn back time. So something they did was not right as to why they left. That's why it's not the way they wanted things to end and they wish they could go back in time. Meanwhile, they've been watching you on your social media page and you look so good. You look so hot and everything like some people was talking about the COVID-15 or 25 or whatever it is that they gained. There are some people who actually lost weight during the pandemic. Um, I know I was one of them. He was like, wow, you're the only person I know that lost weight during the pandemic. Well, it was a lot of other people. And so you might have gotten your body tight and everything. It was nothing else to do um, but to. Um, exercise especially if your significant other has ha left um, I, I don't really see too many people taking up with new people doing social distancing when you didn't know if they was going to give you COVID or not some people risked it but a good am amount of people did not want to risk that so spirit is saying don't dismiss the red flags it is safe to trust in a situation doesn't mean it's safe to trust that person it just means that it's safe to trust that what God is telling you 
and what your intuition is telling you, what your angels are telling you, and Holy Spirit is telling you about this situation, it's safe for you to trust your intuition in this situation. Because Spirit is telling you, don't dismiss the red flags that are popping up. When this person comes and starts talking to you, saying that you're my best friend and um, I want to look in your eyes and get lost in your soul and oh, the pics you post. But this person might have just wanted, you know, it's been a while. You looking good. They might want to try out the goods again. You know, so that could be exactly what it is. Yep, I think that might be because it says private relationship. Whoever this is, is in a relationship with someone else. But then they want, they seeing how sexy you look. Maybe, like I said, maybe this person is out of town. They trying to come into town because things have opened up. It's summertime, folk traveling in the summer. So maybe they want to get their little summer romance going on with you and then go back to their private relationship. But they telling you, oh, this is not how I wanted it to end. Yeah, because they wanted to keep you around in the line while they go back to their wife, their significant other, or whatever. Okay, I'm sorry. My cat is trying to come into this to come in, come into this relationship. <laughs> he snuck up here and is now trying to play with the cards. That that's that's what this person is doing. That see that's something. That's that's spirit. The person wants to come in, sneak in, play with you, play with your feelings, play with your heart, and then sneak off. I wish I could tell you the truth. This person wish they could tell you that they married, they in another relationship, that's why they left. Look, look, look at him. Look at him. He's still sneaking in. He's still sneaking in. Stop it. Get away. Don't make me have to put you in the other room. That's something, because this cat never comes up here doing my reading. Never comes. But he's sneaking. Playing. This person wanna sneak in and play with you. Take that how it resonates. I'm not I'm not gonna go nasty, but they wanna play with you though. I want you back. That's what they trying to say. I absolutely adore you. Here lately it's been a lot of people with sugar dripping off of their tongues, laced in poison. Mm, wow. <laughs> it's a lot of cards coming out of here. Can you hear me whisper your name? Justice, you're gonna get justice in your situation. I got spooked. You're the only one I want. I miss you. It's easier to stay away right now. One person is given too much in this relationship. All I need for true happiness is you by my side. I found the one whom my soul loves. For some of you, the person come back is a faded connection. So maybe this person was just out of... For some of you, this person was just out of town. Maybe couldn't travel because of COVID and the COVID restrictions. And now they want to come back. So it's not how they wanted the relationship to end because they didn't want to be stuck where they were and you're where you are. And everything during COVID. But for some of you, there's someone that says, don't dismiss the red flags. This person want to play with you. Play with your heart. Play with your body. Play with your pockets. Play with your mind. But somebody, because that all that stuff flew out for my Scorpios. 
just when I was talking about that and I started shuffling, it was this person was like, no, I got to get in here. I got a Scorpio I'm trying to get to that I really do love. And, you know, for some of them, you, your person might have really got spooked from the relationship from from the emotions that they were feeling and because somebody was trying to get a message out to me those cards flew out and flew out at me i never had the cards fly back towards me they they normally fly off to the side fly out front it was just like come on now empress you gotta tell them you gotta tell them nah nah i don't want to miss this i really do love this person um and everything like that for some it is somebody that's playing with your heart. That's why they're saying it's easier to stay away right now because they're playing mind games. They want you to miss them. So that when they come back, you can just come. And 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 be desperate for them so they think. I hope you know how wonderful you are. Be open to the possibilities. For some of you, your person is an Aquarius. You can have Aquarius in your chart. Any more messages for my Scorpios? All I need is you. I'm grateful for everything you've given me. All right. That is the message that I have for you. Let me just check the bottom of the deck. Commitment. I want to have forever with you. So again, up and also at the bottom of the deck, wish fulfillment. But also, for some of you, again, there's a warning in this reading that this is a roller coaster ride. This relationship had a lot of ups and downs. Things moved fast and there were a lot of twists and turns. You know which one you are. Take it how it resonates. Take it how it resonates. So for some of you, there is a commitment coming. There is wish fulfillment coming. And for those of you who are on this roller coaster, once you let go of this roller coaster, the commitment is there and the wish fulfillment. But for some people, I was getting that message. Like I said, that's why, like, whoever that person is or whoever it's for, they threw them cards at me. They was like, no, you need to let my person know that I'm coming for them and I want them. I'm not the one playing games. But there's somebody that is playing games. Scorpio, there is. And you know who that person is. Whoever this is resonating for. Whoever that resonates for. But that's all that I have for you um, as far as messages. I'm going to see who that love person is. I'm going to get some initials. Wow. Okay, that shot out. And I have X, F, Y, and Q, those could be the initials anywhere in your name, in your soulmate's name, or the person that's coming to reach out to you. All right. I have B. I have O and I have R. So again, this could be the initials of your person anywhere in there. I have R, I have Q, I have B, I have F, I have X, I have Y, and I have O. That's the messages I have for you. I thank you for watching. Again, if you like this message, Hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so you know when the next readings are coming out. And I thank you. Have a good night.